Now, from your weather authority, here's meteorologist Taban Sharifi. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to News at Noon. Behind me is a look back to yesterday. We hit a high of 78 degrees. That is a little bit above where we're supposed to be for this time of year, sitting around 74 degrees. Our low was at 55 with... Our low usually is supposed to be around 47. For the month, we've seen about 0.66 inches of rainfall. So our departure from normal, we are below where we should be for the year. We've seen about 1.62 inches of rainfall. Right now, behind me is a live look of downtown San Angelo from our Cactus North camera. It's about 12:18, seeing some of that cloud cover out there. But overall, plenty of sunshine coming through. Our temperature is 66 degrees, with winds out of the east southeast at 10 miles per hour. Humidity at 52 percent, with a dew point of 48 degrees and pressure sitting at 30.33 inches. Our temperatures across the rest of the region sitting in the 60s across the Contra Valley. 65 out in Eden, 65 in Ballinger, 65 in Brady as well, 64 off towards the south in Sonora this afternoon. We are going to watch those wind speeds picking up. As far as today, they'll remain out of the east southeast as we continue throughout the region up to about 15 mile per hour with those gusts as we head overnight and into tomorrow. We're watching those gusts picking up closer to 30 miles per hour and continuing those breezy conditions all the way through Thursday with those winds shifting out of the south. You can see they're picking up a little bit more consistent winds up to about 20 miles per hour, gusts picking up closer to 30. And we'll continue to see those wind speeds all the way throughout Thursday afternoon. Satellite and radar picking up on dry conditions across the region and really across the state. We had this cold front that moved in yesterday morning, now all the way out of the state of Texas, unfortunately not bringing too much rainfall with it. So we are still looking at drought conditions for the region. About 31% of the state is in abnormal to severe drought conditions. The good news for us here in the Concho Valley, we're looking much better than we were a couple of weeks ago. Only a few of us. In Sutton and Crockett County looking at some abnormal drought conditions, even a little bit off in Coleman County as well. But overall, a great improvement, and we are watching more rain chances as we head towards the weekend. As far as today, remaining right near seasonal averages, 74 degrees by the time we get to 4 o'clock as we head into tonight. 73, 91 was our record high temperature. That was set back in 2000. We'll stay near average and not break any records for today. We'll continue that warming trend all the way through the rest of the week. 87 degrees by Friday. Those breezy winds coming through Wednesday and Thursday. And then a cold front will move through as we go into Saturday. That'll drop our temperatures and bring some chances to see showers along with thunderstorms with temperatures back down into the 50s by Sunday. Don't go away. We'll be right back after this break.